Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to teach you how to download and install Fabric Mods, a bunch of Fabric Mods on Minecraft in Forge. I'm going to teach you how to make Fabric Mods compatible with Forge and vice versa. You're going to be able to use Forge and Fabric Mods together. This is something that the modding community has been waiting for a long time and I'm here to teach you guys how to make all of this work. Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need in order to run Fabric and Forge Mods together is to install Forge because even though we're running Fabric and Forge together, it's all going to be run throughout a Forge Mod Loader, okay? So obviously, the first step is to download and install Forge. Go ahead and click on that second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Forge. We even have an index in here. You can look at the screenshots, you can read through the text. However, we're going to make it quick. All you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. I want you to go to 1.20.1. Why are we downloading 1.20.1 instead of a newer version? Well, it's because as of right now, that is the only version that allows you to have Forge and Fabric mods together. However, in the future, that might change. If you're watching this in the future, you will be able to check if that has changed. And I'm going to show you in a second how to check what's the most recent version that you could do this on. As of right now, we're going to do 1.20.1. Go ahead and click on 1.20.1. Click on installer. I'll redirect you over here where after five seconds, you could click on a skip and then that will begin the download. Okay. There is a written guide on how to download and install Forge. It's not really that hard. In my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. Once we downloaded the Forge file, we could go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Go ahead and drag and drop that Forge file into your desktop. Okay. You can minimize the browser from now. All you have to do now to install Forge, it's double click it after you have closed Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher is closed. You double click on Forge and wait for Forge to install. Click on install client, click OK. And then just wait for this to install. It's super, super simple. And now we're creating an instance of Forge 1.20.1 in our computer to now be finally able to add Fabric and Forge together. Okay. And there we go. It says finish. Go ahead and click on OK. And you could even delete the Forge installer as well as this Forge text file. Let's go ahead and try and delete that again. There we go. As well as this text file. And go back to the description of this video. And I want you to click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Fabric mods and Forge mods together. Now, I welcome you to read through this guide. And it is a very, very in-depth guide with photos, all the screenshots you need, all the text that you need. But I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. In order to run Fabric Mods and Forge Mods together, we're going to need to install two specific mods in Forge, okay? We're going to need Sinitra Connector. I don't know if that's how you pronounce this word, Sinitra. I don't know. We're just going to call it like that, Sinitra Connector. You're also going to need this other mod called Forgeified Fabric API, which is like a Fabric API, but for Forge, which is great because that way we won't need to download the Fabric API itself. We're going to download the Forgeified, okay? So first, we're going to download the Sinitra. Like I said, feel free to read through the guide. Anyways, if you don't want to do that, all you have to do is scroll down, find a step one, and click on download right here. That'll redirect you over here, where you're going to download the 1.20.1 version and the most recent one for Sinitra, okay? If you're watching this in the future, and this is where I say that you could probably do this for a mod updated version a couple months from now. If you're watching this in the future, the game version in here might be a newer one, might be 1.20.4, 1.21, okay? Whichever version it is, you could download then that version of Forge and do this for a more recent version of Minecraft. I hope you're clear about that. I hope I was able to explain it properly. But as of right now, the only version that we have is 1.20.1. And all you have to do is once you found that recent version, go ahead and click on these little three dots, click on download file. It's pretty similar to downloading any other mod from CurseForge. Once five seconds have passed in this page, the file will start downloading automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. Once you have that file, just like we did earlier with the Forge installer, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desk. Now that we have the connector file, we're going to need, it is a requirement, we're going to need Forgeified uh, Fabric API. You could go to the Forgeified Fabric API through here. If you come to the description of Sinitra Connector, you will click on that. But that is going to redirect you to the legacy edition of CurseForge, which might be a little bit outdated. So I recommend that you use our guide to go to the Forgeified Fabric API. All you have to do is to scroll down until you see a step two right here and then click on download and that'll redirect you here, right? At the more updated version of CurseForge, which is a little bit easier to download mods from. All you have to do in here is look for the matching version. In this case, it's 1.20.1, same as uh, Sinitra and same as Forge. And then click on the little three dots in here and click download file. That will start the download after five seconds, just like it did before with the connector. And after the file has been downloaded, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, at this point of the guide, you already have the two mods that you need to install fabric mods and if you have installed mods in the past all you have to do with these two mods is drag and drop them into your mods folder within your forge instance in your minecraft launcher and you're good you could add other mods and like i said that is if you know how to add these mods to the mods folder but i'm assuming a lot of you don't so i'm going to show you in the next step how to add these mods to the mods folder and i'm also going to download a fabric mod to try it out and see if fabric 
mods are actually working for Forge. We're going to go ahead and download. And the mod that I'm going to download to test how Fabric in Forge is going to be the physics mod. If you want to download the same mod as me, you could use the fourth link in the description. However, feel free to download any Fabric mod that you want. I'm going to test it out using this mod, using the physics mod. If you want to download the physics mod, click on the fourth link and scroll down and click where it says physics mod. That redirect you to the physics mod website. And in here, we're going to download the Fabric physics mod 1.20.1. Now, obviously, this mod is also available for Forge, so I'm not really forced to download the Fabric version, but I'm going to download the Fabrics version just to test it out, just to test how Fabric mods working in Forge. So I'm going to go ahead and download that Fabric version for Minecraft 1.20.1. Make sure you download the mod version that matches your Forge version, as well as your Cinetra connector and your Forgeified API. Let's go ahead and download that physics mod fabric, go ahead and save it. And we're also going to drag and drop that mod here into the desktop. Now we have the fabric mod for physics. We have the connector and the fabric API. And now we're going to open our Minecraft launcher. Now, while the Minecraft launcher is opening, quick message from our sponsor. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is by far the easiest service to set up a server on. Not only are they going to make the server as secure as possible, but they also have more than 200, more than 200, okay? One click mod pack installers. That means that you could turn a mod pack into a server with just the click of a button. Also, you can make a server for Java, Bedrock. You could access the server console through your phone, so you don't even have to be at home to kick people out, change the settings. And if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting, okay? Once that's said, let's get back into the tutorial. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. And now what we're going to do is head over to installations, make sure that modded is selected if you don't have modded selected you won't see forge in here so make sure you select it and what you're going to do next is hover over forge 1.20.1 or whatever version you're using if you're watching this in the future and you're going to click on this little folder that appears right here i'll open a folder with a lot more files and i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see and in here you're looking for a specific folder called mods mods as you can see mine is right here however if you don't have that folder and i went ahead and deleted mine you could always create it all you have to do is right click click new and click on folder and then you can name this folder mods, M-O-D-S. So you could create that mods folder yourself. Once you have found that folder or created it, go ahead and open it. Make sure that folder has no other mods that are incompatible with what we're doing, right? So you don't want to have a 1.12.2 mod in here because we're playing Forge 1.20.1. And if we have an outdated version, it's going to crash, okay? And all you have to do now is drag and drop the connector and the fabric API. And if you downloaded any other mod, go ahead and drag and drop it as well. OK, so I'm downloading. I'm, I'm dragging that fabric mod in here from physics, right? That physics mod. And now we can close this folder, go back to your launcher and click on play on Forge. Click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft. Click on play again. Just wait for this to load. It takes a little bit to load because it has to load a lot of mods to make Fabric mods compatible with Forge. Now, as we can see, we're in Minecraft right now, and I want to go ahead and test this mod. Also, you could head over to mods. You could see that there's a bunch of Fabric mods in here. There's a lot of different Fabric mods now. Now you could use Fabric mods in Forge. Now, I want you to keep in mind that this is still in beta, which means that a lot of mods won't be compatible and you might have random crashes. You might have some mods that are not going to load some mods are going to crash your game, slow down your computer. I want to break a block. And as you can see, the physics mod is working. Wow, that, that's that's impressive. Uh, the whole tree just falls down. And as you can see, the physics mod is working. So yeah, using fabric mods, now it's available in Forge, which is going to change a lot of things. It's going to change the way that mod packs are created. It's going to make it easier for us, the players, but it's going to make it harder now for the mod developers as well. But yeah, guys, now you can play Fabric and Forge together. I hope I was able to help you. If I was, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see guides like this. I do tons of guides. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.